Hey there, YouTube. Today I want to talk about the most repetitive game in the world. Elite Hey, wait, no. I mean, spider Man. No, no, not that either. I mean, the last of... Uh, wait, no, well, was it Red Dead Redemption? Or was it Grand Theft Auto? Okay, let's just talk about repetitive gameplay in general, because there isn't any game that's not repetitive. For this video, I show you some of the games that I either played in the past, or I played right now in the present time. And I will show you that video games, mostly all of them, are repetitive by nature. The only difference is how long it will and can entertain you. Let's start with a story-driven game, The Last of Us. First of all, The Last of Us is a great game, I love playing it and I'm eager to play the second part when it comes to PC. But despite its great story, it is a very repetitive game. Everything you do is sneaking around, killing foes and loot material to kill them with other stuff than guns. Basically that's all of the gameplay in a nutshell. It took me about 30 hours to finish it, so it didn't last very long in my library, but it was a great game nonetheless. For me, it doesn't have any replayability, because the story can't change. Every twist, every emotional breakdown and all the surprises are already experienced and there is nothing that can surprise me anymore, so the repetitive aspect of this game is kind of unseen because you don't play it for that long, but still, it's repetitive. Next one on my list is Spider-Man Remastered. I played both Spider-Man Remastered and Spider-Man Miles Morales. And I have to say that I'm a huge Spider-Man fan since I'm a little pisser. What I loved about the game the most was webbing around the city. I did that for no reason, just because I liked it. But it is, as you expected, a very repetitive game. Basically all you do is either webbing around or beat up bad guys. Getting all the collectibles counts as webbing around, at least that's how I see it. I finished the game in about 45-ish hours. The story is, well, a superhero saves the day, so a normal superhero story. Nothing too fancy, but okay enough to watch the cutscenes. Another game I really enjoyed to play was Red Dead Redemption. With a playtime of about 90 hours, this Wild West adventure in an open world with a good story of betrayal kept me on the screen a bit longer than the previous games in this video. Well, it's an open world and there is a lot of time to waste when you just enjoy the views of the different biomes. But gameplay-wise, very repetitive. Riding horses, shooty shooty bad guys and that's basically it. You can do other stuff and there are some puzzles, mysteries to solve and hey, you can play poker. But in the end, there isn't anything more to do than riding around, looking at the view and doing missions. And these missions feel very repetitive from the start. There are some variations in the mission types, but in the end, it's ride to that place, do this or that and ride back. Let's keep going with another Rockstar game, Grand Theft Auto. I played this game since part 2. No 3D graphics back in the days. Basically it's the same like Red Dead, but in a more modern world. So instead of copy paste the text from before, I'll just keep it like that and say it's just as repetitive as Red Dead. Oh and the online part of both these games are just as repetitive as the solo campaign. GTA was able to keep me in front of my monitor for about 105-ish hours. A very successful game with a great player base is DayZ. I don't know how many hours I played that game, but it must be some thousand hours, at least two and a half. Basically all you do is trying to survive. It got a very good survival mechanic, so you need to eat, drink, protect yourself from the cold, yada yada. But in the end you will either die from starvation, an infection or another player kills you and then you start at new. That's basically it. The most repetitive games I've ever played are sports games. I like to play the Madden series and, some might be surprised, the PGA series as well. I guess I don't have to tell anybody why these games are the most repetitive games of all. I mean, all you do is that one thing. In my case, either throw a ball in the stadium or on a golf course. Same goes for shooter games and all the mill sims. There's some variation between some games, but in the end all you do is shooty shooty bang bang. 
in ready or not you usually take it slow in others like call of duty you don't take it slow at all but in the end it's all about shooting all day long by the way the story of call of duty modern warfare just took me about four hours to complete and yes some might have a lot of fun playing it online and competitive but i'm not into that but what do i want to say with all that games in general are repetitive it doesn't matter what game even puzzle games are repetitive maybe there are a shit ton of different puzzles but all of them are puzzles so all you do is solving puzzles or simulator games like car mechanic simulator maybe there are a shit ton of different cars and another shit ton of different parts to repair but all you do is wait for it screwing around taking parts away and taking other or newer parts back on we play games because we like to do all these things. Some just love to ride around the scenery of Red Dead. Some of us like to drive around in Los Santos or webbing around New York. Some of us love football and playing it all day long or golf. Some love to build or repair cars. And now let's take a look at Elite Dangerous. Repetitive? Yes, of course. Just as repetitive as every other game. And it doesn't matter what you do in Elite. If it is hauling, exploring or combat. The big difference and question at the same time is, how long are you playing this repetitive game? Or how long can you play this repetitive game? Besides, the whole space-like thing brought a complete new dimension into the game, whether you like it or not. Frontier brought something new into its repetitive game. So after thousands of hours, you were able to break free from its repetitiveness and do something completely new. Say what you want, but I don't see spaceships and an explorable galaxy coming for Grand Theft Auto or an open world expansion to explore for The Last of Us. I guess I made it very clear what I wanted to say here. Complaining about the lead being repetitive is just as stupid as complaining about that the world is spinning in the same direction for the last 4.6 billion years. Anyway, catch you later. Catch you later.